Benib Bar, Numbers 16. Now Korach, the son of Yitzhar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, and Dathan and Aviram, the sons of Eliav, and On, the son of Peleth, sons of Reuven, took men. And they rose up before Moshe with certain of the children of Yashar'el, two hundred and fifty princes of the assembly, famous in the assembly, men of renown. And they gathered themselves together against Moshe and against Aharon, and said unto them, Ye take too much upon you, seeing all the assembly are holy, every one of them, and Yahuwah is among them. Wherefore then lift ye up yourselves above the assembly of Yahuwah? And when Moshe heard it, he fell upon his face. And he spoke unto Korach and unto all his company, saying, Even tomorrow Yahuwah will show at who are his and at who is holy and will cause him to come near unto him. Even at him whom he has chosen will he cause to come near unto him. This do, take you censers, Korak, and all his company, and put fire therein, and put incense in them before Yahuwah tomorrow. And it shall be that the man whom Yahuwah chooses he shall be holy. Ye take too much upon you, ye sons of Livy. And Moshe said unto Korach, Here, I pray you, ye sons of Livy, does it seem but a small thing unto you that the Elohai of Yashara'el has separated you from the assembly of Yashara'el to bring you near to himself to do at the service of the tabernacle of Yahuwah, and to stand before the assembly to minister unto them. And he has brought you near to him, and at all your brethren, the sons of Levi, with you. And seek ye the priesthood also? For which cause both you and all your company are gathered together against Yahuwah, and what is Aharon that ye murmur against him? And Moshe sent to call Dathan and Avriam, the sons of Eliav, which said, We will not come up. Is it a small thing that you have brought us up out of a land that flows with milk and honey to kill us in the wilderness, except you make yourselves altogether a prince over us? Moreover, you have not brought us into a land that flows with milk and honey, or given us inheritance of fields and vineyards. Will you put out the eyes of these men? We will not come up. And Moshe was very wroth, and said unto El Yahuwah, Respect not you their offering. I have not taken one ass from them, neither have I hurt at one of them. And Moshe said unto Korach, Be you and all your company before Yahuwah, you and they and Aharon tomorrow. And take every man his censer and put incense in them and bring ye before Yahuwah every man his censer. Two hundred and fifty censers you also and Aharon, each of you his censer. And they took every man his censer and put fire in them and laid incense thereon and stood in the door of the tabernacle of the assembly with Moshe and Aharon. And Korak gathered at all the assembly against them unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly and the glory of Yahuwah appeared unto all the assembly. 
And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe and unto El Ahran, saying, Separate yourselves from among this assembly, that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell upon their faces and said, O El, the Elohim of the Ruchat, of all flesh, shall one man sin, and will you be wroth? with all the assembly. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the assembly, saying, Get you up from about the tabernacle of Korak, Dathan and Avram. And Moshe rose up and went unto Dathan and Avram, and the elders of Yasharael followed him. And he spoke unto the assembly, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, lest ye be consumed in all their sins. So they got up from the tabernacle of Korak, and Dathan, and Avriam, on every side. And Dathan and Avram came out, and stood in the door of their tents, and their women, and their sons, and their little children. And Moshe said, Hereby ye shall know that Yahuwah has sent me to do at all these works, for I have not done them of my own mind. If these men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then Yahuwah has not sent me. But... If Yahuwah make a new thing, and the earth open at her mouth, and swallow them up, with et all that appertain unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked Yahuwah. And it came to pass, as he had made an end of speaking at all these words, that the ground clave asunder that was under them, and the earth opened at her mouth and swallowed them up and at their houses and at all the men that appertained unto Korak and at all their goods. They and all that appertained to them went down alive into the pit and the earth closed upon them and they perished from among the assembly. And all Yasharael that were round about them fled at the cry of them. For they said, Lest the earth swallow us up also. And there came out a fire from Yahuwah, and consumed at the two hundred and fifty men that offered incense. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe, saying, Speak unto El Azar, the son of Aharon, the priest, that he take up at the censers out of the burning and scatter you at the fire yonder, for they are hallowed. At the censers of these sinners against their own souls. Rather, at the censers of these sinners against their own souls. Let them make them broad plates for a covering of the altar, for they offered them before Yahuwah. Therefore they are hallowed, and they shall be a sign unto the children of Yashara'el. And Elazar, the priest, took at the brazen censers, wherewith they that were burnt had offered. And they were made broad plates for a covering of the altar to be a memorial unto the children of Yasharael, that no stranger, which is not of the seed of Aharan, come near to offer incense before Yahuwah, that he be not as Korak, and as his company, as Yahuwah said to him by the hand of Moshe. But on the morrow all the assembly of the children of Yasharael murmured against Moshe and against Ahran 
saying, Ye have killed at the people of Yahuwah. And it came to pass, when the assembly was gathered against Moshe and against Aharon, that they looked toward the tabernacle of the assembly, and behold, the cloud covered it, and the glory of Yahuwah appeared. And Moshe and Aharon came before the tabernacle of the assembly, and Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Get you up from among this assembly, that I may consume them as in a moment. And they fell upon their faces. And Moshe said unto El Ahran, Take et a censer, and put fire therein from off the altar, and put on incense, and go quickly unto the assembly, and make an atonement for them. For there is wrath gone out from Yahuwah. The plague is begun. And Ahran took as Moshe commanded, and ran into the midst of the assembly. And behold, the plague was begun among the people. And he put on at incense and made an atonement for the people. And he stood between the, the dead and the living. And the plague was stayed. Now they that died in the plague were fourteen thousand and seven hundred, beside them that died about the matter of Korak. And Aharon returned unto Moshe, unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly, and the plague was stayed.